Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to this new career mode, but it's more of a career mode challenge, I guess you could say. You can see by the title as well, of course, uh, being Barcelona. You know I started with them in FIFA 14, but it's it's definitely a different kind of career and series. It's like more of a challenge more than anything. And I felt Barcelona were the best team to do just because in real life that they probably the team that uses, at least out of the big teams as well, uh, one of the teams that rely on their youth, or not rely, they probably wouldn't need to rely, they've got the money, uh, they utilize or bring through uh, really quality youth players, like of course all their players came through the youth academy, like you go to Messi, you go to Fabregas, Iniesta, Xavi, the whole team almost, of course not the whole team, but the majority of the team, uh, so the idea with this is to sign up some quality scouts, five-star. If there's not, I might go with a four-star. Uh, you see one there, five-star experience. But I do want to go with five-star judgment. For me, the experience is not that important. For experience is only important if you're searching for players specifically. You know how you can search for a technically gifted player or something like that. That's where experience comes into play. But I don't generally do that. I just do any. So that doesn't matter for me. And if you're wondering how that works, that's how it works. I'm pretty sure, because uh, I read on these tips or uh, websites, so if that's wrong, uh, don't blame me, just, yeah, what I read on the internet, and I would imagine it's correct. Uh, so, yeah, obviously coming straight up uh, with this five-star judgment scout uh, from Portugal, uh, it was a big decision, the first place I was going to go, and Argentina was really on my mind, so I could definitely try and get the next Messi in that, but yeah, you know what I'm going to do here, just go scouting but yeah, the main reason, like explanation of this series is trying to eventually have a full team uh, with the Youth Academy, not buying any players as well. You know how Barcelona have that ban for buying players? That's another reason I felt Barcelona were a perfect team to do. And the key thing is, is to have a team that's still capable of being known as one of the best clubs in the world with not buying any players and just relying, just think... I want to try if I can actually implement it in the game. If I can actually just bring through quality players. You can see here, and this guy's from Spain, Ernesto uh, Carrazzo. So hopefully he uh, will find us some good Spanish talent. I'm pretty sure I would have sent him out to Spain. So you can see here, he's ready to scout. So I'll be doing that with him. And yeah, like I said, it's a big challenge. And you might want to do this yourself. You might have a challenge to do it with a lower team. might be harder, but... Uh, I wanted to do it with a team that had the money so I could sign up the good scouts and everything. And but yeah, Barcelona is a good test. And because, yeah, like I said before, because they do it in real life, that's another reason that led me to doing with them. And I just wanted to say I'm not stopping Wickham, Karimo. This is just a side challenge for me. When I don't feel like doing any other series, like is a situation for me. Like right now, I didn't like feel like editing any other videos or something because, yeah, I just edited this a while ago, actually couple of weeks ago I got the footage for this so yeah it was a while ago I wasn't sure if I was going to do a series on it just for the situation like now where if I'm ever bored of anything else I'll do this but look at this right here five star five star scout and Spanish as well so it's good to get two Spanish guys in there and we're hopefully going to get some amazing talent and I can show you how I'll be developing them, developing them. Uh, it's going to be you don't, there's not really a developing feature, like I was going to talk about it, there's, you don't really develop the players, you just wait till they're old enough, you wait for the crucial time in the season uh, to sign them up, and yeah, that's pretty much it, <laughs> there's not much else to it, I think you wait till May or something, then you sign them up, I can't really remember, because I haven't really been playing career mode heaps lately, but yeah, pretty much that, you wait till May, then you sign them up, and uh, they have a very good potential and good ratings and then not introduce them into the team. So the first couple seasons, I'll just be simulating games. But maybe when I get like five seasons in, I'll actually play with the players so you can see how they play and how I will develop them in games and see if that makes an effect. So yeah, that's how we'll be doing it. And yeah, that's just a really quick short introduction as we're going to be sending this scout out as well. I'm not sure to where. I'll just check this out. Yeah, I think it was going to go to Brazil. If you see here... Because I already went to Argentina. And next, sometimes I find it difficult to get to Brazil that way. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be sending to Brazil. So that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoy the series. And like I said, just a, it's a challenge one. It's good to do this time in FIFA uh, 14 with the game coming to an end. People waiting for FIFA 15, that kind of stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode.